Hi, I'm Linda Hafner, top producing realtor at ERA Key Realty in Central Massachusetts. Today's video topic, we're gonna talk about for sale by owner. What are the pros and cons when you're considering selling your home of possibly selling it yourself? Before we get started on today's topic, if you haven't checked out my other videos, please go back. I've got a lot of educational content. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home, please check them out. It has really useful information that will help you make the best decisions for yourself. Because that's really what I'm here for. I'm here to guide you to make the best decisions for yourself. So today, we're gonna talk about for sale by owner. There is a small percentage of people who attempt to sell their homes themselves. But then once they get in the middle of it, they decide, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? So if you're thinking of possibly going this avenue, let's talk about the pros and cons before you start, and then you can make the best decision for yourself. Before I get into the pros and cons of selling it yourself, I just wanna answer the question, why I feel it's important to talk about this. And I think this topic of the pros and cons of contemplating selling it yourself is really important because I think when you understand just how much is involved in trying to sell it yourself, you're going to see the benefit of hiring a realtor to do the job for you because you're gonna understand what it is exactly we can do for you that you may not be able to do for yourself or that you may not be willing to do for yourself. Because can you sell your own house? Of course you can, but you're never really gonna know whether you got the highest and best offer. And this is your biggest investment probably, you know, of your life. Do you want to take that on? I mean, these are the questions that you wanna ask yourself. So the first thing I would present is get it, is to let you know that getting an accepted offer, especially in a seller's market, that's the easy part. I mean, it is very, very easy to get an accepted offer. I think even for me, it's just, that's the easiest part of my job, to be honest with you. The hard part is getting from accepted offer through that 45 day period, um, until you actually close and dealing with and managing the transaction from accepted offer until closing. That to me is where you're gonna see the biggest benefit of having a realtor when you hire them. So I think we could probably agree that obviously the benefit and why some people do choose to sell it themselves is because they think they're going to save a significant amount of money. But let's just break it down a little bit um, on a standard home in my area, um, you're looking at any price range between like 250 to 400,000. So I'm gonna pick a number of just 300,000 and let's, let's talk about the commission on that, okay? Uh, for me, my standard commission is usually in the vicinity of 5%, but I have to pay a buyer's agent and their company, uh, their broker, 2.5%. So really, what the list agent actually walks away with, with is 2.5%, and that is split between the listing broker and the listing agent, okay? And that amount, say on a $300,000 house, you're talking um, $7,500, okay? So wow, that sounds like a lot, and, and, it, and it is until you understand what you're getting for that 7,500 and the fact that the commission, I personally believe, not only pays for itself in my ability to negotiate the highest price for you, but also, you know, it takes so much stress and worry from you that it does make it worthwhile. So that commission that you save, let me explain what that commission provides you and what you won't have when you're selling your house, okay? First thing that you won't have, years of experience. When you hire a realtor to 
sell your house. It's not about just selling your single house. It's the fact that you're hiring someone who has sold many, many houses. When you hire me as a realtor, you know, I have 30 to 40 transactions per year that I'm involved with. With that is an immense amount of experience that you as a homeowner can't possibly understand all the variety of situations that I see and you would not be able to handle the situations and know how to prevent them in the same way that I would. So you're forfeiting that when you're selling the house yourself. When you sell your house yourself, you're also forfeiting a true understanding of the market knowledge that has taken years to develop and understand and a daily basis of being fully immersed in the market to completely understand what buyers want, what buyers don't want. And it really just puts you at a disadvantage as a home seller. You're really not going to know how to price your home correctly for the market. And if you don't price it correctly for the market right from the start, and do what most sellers do, which is to price it too high and it sits on the market, it gives the buyers a little bit more leverage to bargain you down. And that amount of money that you bargain you down right there kind of pays for the commission for starters. And I can tell you that most sellers 100% almost always overprice their home because they don't have the objectivity of the marketplace that a realtor does. They think their home is fabulous. They're looking at it from their viewpoint of all the work they put into it and all the um, improvements that they've put into it, but they're not looking at it objectively in the eyes of a buyer and that's what a realtor is able to do. That way saving you time and money and leverage, which you really need if you're going to get the highest price for your home. One more thing I want to bring up that I actually didn't even write on the board is that as a home seller, whoever approaches you wanting to buy your home automatically knows you don't have to pay a commission and in their head when they're negotiating with you, they automatically figure, well, you know, that home seller is saving all kinds of money because they're not using an agent and they're not paying a commission. So in their head, they're kind of using that as a negotiating tool to get you down. They automatically go in with that. So as much as you think you're saving the commission, really the buyer uses it to their advantage and it hurts you in more ways than one. Another disadvantage is that a lot of home sellers don't anticipate before they begin this journey is just how much time it requires. If you have a full-time job, this is not going to be easy for you. I know in the old days, people used to only do like nights and weekends, but that's not how it is today. A lot of people work from home, they have flexible hours. They wanna come see your house in the middle of the day. They you know, need to be able to get in. They wanna make phone calls. They wanna ask questions. I mean, it's hours and hours of time just to get the offer. And then once you get the offer, it's hours and hours of time negotiating you know, a home inspection and um, dealing with an appraisal and making sure all the liability paperwork is completed. That you know, there is a lot of liability that I think a, whole, a lot of home sellers don't know um, as far as disclosing the truth about the home. And you know, these are things that you will not have the benefit of having that protection if you attempt to sell it yourself. And unfortunately, you know, like right now, I'm selling a home for someone who attempted to sell it on their own and they realized, oh my gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought. And now I have it listed. I have an open house this weekend and I'm very confident that I'll sell it within a very short amount of time for a lot higher than what she had originally got an offer for. And I think part of why I wanna do this is because if you understand the risks ahead of time. First of all, you know, maybe it'll help you sell your house yourself and you won't need me. If you want to put in that time, go for it. But at the same time, it doesn't take me as long as it would take you only because I have so much experience doing it and I have so many systems in place and so many people to help me get my job done that it just doesn't take me as long as it would take a homeowner, a home seller. I would have to say that the biggest disadvantage for home sellers trying to sell their home them, themselves 
is truly not being able to anticipate problems and difficulties that come up within a transaction before they happen. I don't know how else to say that um, other than the market knowledge and experience that has taken me years to gain helps prevent uh, closing delays, mortgage commitment delays, um, and all these things end up costing home sellers money. I mean, if you have to change your moving date, things like that, and I'm not saying it never happens even with a realtor because some things are out of our control, but I'm able to anticipate a lot of problems before they happen. And as a home seller, you're not able to do that because you just don't have the same knowledge and experience. Um, doesn't mean you can't sell it yourself. It just means that it's going to be a lot more overwhelming and stressful than I think you can even anticipate until you're really in the middle of it and, and regret it at that point. And at that point, you're probably so far into it, it's gotten too late. So the goal of this video is to just let you know all the things that we do to make it easier for you, all the things that is why we're getting paid this commission. And then you decide, is it worth that to you? You know, this is a huge amount of money you're dealing with. Don't you want to try to get the absolute highest price? And don't, you know, don't you want to have it go smoothly? If not, and you just want to save the money, go for it. But at least, now you know what the pros and cons are and you can make the best decision for yourself. If you are thinking of selling, I would love it if you contacted me. Um, my number is 508-942-7923 and I work in Worcester County in Massachusetts. So please feel free to give me a call and check out my other videos on buying and selling a home. Very in informative information for you. Have a great day. Thanks.